What to wear to Paris, September 2023. If you're planning a trip to Paris in September or in fall, I have styled so many outfits for you that are very practical and very wearable, but very chic because we're not sacrificing style for comfort, not at all. So if you love Parisian style and you're really excited about planning your trip, or if you're just a big Francophile like me and you need Parisian style outfit inspiration for fall, then this video is going to be your jam. I think a lot of us who are American or Canadian sometimes have this very aspirational kind of almost like a cliche view of French style or Parisian style and I love studying this. This is what I do as a stylist. I study personal style and so I've tried to build outfits and give you guys outfit inspiration that is very wearable and chic and comfortable but based on what I actually see real women wearing in Paris on Instagram. I do walk a lot in my daily life. I wear these shoes all the time, so I can handle that amount of walking in that footwear, but I will say that if you're not comfortable with walking and you don't typically wear this type of shoe or you have foot problems, your footwear is gonna vary wi widely and I highly recommend that you do a Google search on Zappos or something like that for comfortable, like chic comfort shoes because there's so many cool chic comfort shoes out there right now, but do not sacrifice your foot comfort for style. That's the one area where I'm like, don't do it. I think what's really great about Parisians style right now is that people are embracing the tennis shoe so there's all kinds of tennis shoes that are super in style and super cute. Cezanne has some amazing tennis shoes out right now but I love Gola, I love Veya, Converse, Adidas are great, New Balance are great, Asics are fantastic as well. Um, I also am a huge fan of Tree Torn which is the tennis shoe that I'm wearing in the video as you'll see. So don't feel like you can't wear a cute tennis shoe with a skirt or a dress or a nice pair of trousers or jeans. You absolutely can. Definitely do not sacrifice your foot comfort for style because you will regret it. Because you're gonna be doing a ton of walking and sightseeing and I hope that you enjoy yourself and enjoy your time. But do plan for a little bit of rain. Plan for it to be warmer than you expect. And especially if you're somebody who gets overheated, make sure that you're not packing a bunch of blazers and sweaters and coats and trench coats and jackets. You're gonna need possibly a light layer or two, but when I went to Paris, I brought one, I think I brought more than one blazer, but I wanna say that I only wore one. I wore two blazers actually, now that I'm thinking of it. But they were both very lightweight, so take this video as a source of inspiration, as a jumping off point for you to start planning your outfits for Paris. So September is still summer, but then it transitions to fall on us. So it's that key month where it's throwing us all for a loop. Before we get into the outfits, I wanna talk about my sources of style inspiration because I think that's very key to who I am as a person. So when I um, am scrolling on Instagram, I'm always saving things and that's a little tip. You can put things in a saved folder, but one really cool, person that I love to follow is the founder of Les Sublime and she's fantastic like her style is epic and you could wear something as casual as like a pair of trousers and a t-shirt a pair of open-toed sandals and a nice straw bag doesn't have to be complicated at all. Of course, I love Violetta FR, the makeup artist. A nice pair of jeans with a beautiful button-up would be perfect. Nice ballet flats, possibly some tennis shoes, one strand of pearls, and you're done. Don't overthink it. The thing is, like with French fashion, you need to learn how to play and get outside your comfort zone. So if you're somebody who loves a lot of color, then I definitely think that you would absolutely love Fatou Kaba. I think that's how you say her name. Fatou is a model and I consider her to be a model. I don't know if that's her actual job, but I think she's a model and I discovered her through Violetta. She's fantastic. I love everything about her style. It's just gorgeous and I love that bright pink beautiful blazer. Okay, you've heard me talk about Lena countless times here on the channel. She actually has her own YouTube channel that you should go check out and support. I will link it below. Lena is fantastic at layering and having that effortless Parisian chic vibe while still being quite cool. So I think her outfits are extremely wearable and extremely realistic. So kind of adapt some of these looks to suit the weather, but stripes, blazer, jeans, espadrilles, a silky top, silky dress, you know, you can't go wrong. 
<laughs> Marissa Cox is an English woman. She's a UK Brit living in Paris. She's written a fantastic book called Practicing Parisian, which I highly recommend. She has more minimal chic style. I like that she's wearing some very comfortable New Balance tennies with a very done up chic look. So the way that you can balance out the tennis shoe aspect of your outfit is by adding a very chic element on top or a very chic bag, something that's a little bit more structured that you wouldn't necessarily think of pairing with a tennis shoe. Okay, I've recently been falling in love with Peggy Frey. She is so funny and so cool and I like her playfulness. So if you like playful style that's very cool girl chic check out peggy i love this outfit i definitely tried to recreate it here so if you like a more bright interesting like playful but feminine look i cannot recommend sarah laura enough she's a model i think you could tell that i'm very influenced by sarah laura but i think what really works about her outfits is that she has all these classic elements like chanel cap toe shoes and a trench coat and a beautiful bag but something about the way that she puts them together makes Makes it seem less polished and more lived in and authentic so that's something to take note of you want your looks to be authentic you want to feel like you're living in your looks not that you're putting on a costume the people who are really devoted to like the cutting edge of style in Paris today they are not wearing what you would consider to be the typical French girl look I think there's like a couple of YouTube channels that I will recommend in the description box below like purple palace is one and um, Damon Dominique I absolutely love as well as I don't I think it's something blonde not so blonde obsessed with that channel. I think that's what I think that's what it's called. But yeah, lots of Parisian street style and that will give you some inspiration too, but just be forewarned that any big city you go to is going to have incredibly cutting edge style that may not make a lot of sense to everyday casual dressing. Now onto the outfits where I'm going to be doing a voiceover. So let's go. More style tips this way. Okay, first up, I've got this cute outfit that is a pair of Target trousers that are a lightweight cotton cargo pant. And I've paired it with my brand new Cezanne blouse, which a review of that is coming very soon. And the Cezanne Milo bag. I've also paired it with my J. Crew Stevie boots. These are leather boots that are pretty comfortable in the rain. Like I wouldn't say heavy rain, but would definitely work for a moderately drizzly day. And of course I've got my foldy bendy awesome Ray-Bans, which I think are the epitome of French chic and a handy tote bag. This is a straw tote bag I got from the thrift store and it's quite old, but I really love it because I can just fit everything in there. It has a zipper on the inside and then like a metallic closure. So very handy. Next up, I've got this amazingly French chic outfit, Breton stripe turtleneck, lightweight cotton blend top with a vintage Banana Republic skirt, and some Cezanne. Um, I think those are the Andre loafers. I'm on the fence about them, just testing them out on the carpet still. They're slightly running large on me, but I love the look. Paired it with my Ray-Bans and I feel very chic. I feel very put together and like I could just walk around the city all day long with the temperatures being somewhat cool or somewhat warm. Next up, this is my favorite look of the whole bunch. This is definitely inspired by Peggy Frey, Margot Avril. It's my secondhand Banana Republic blazer. It's quite old, pinstriped, double-breasted, and I'm scrunching up my sleeves a lot like the French girls do, and I've paired it with a also secondhand Banana Republic t-shirt and my secondhand End of the Stories jeans and my secondhand J. Crew Stevie boots and my secondhand basket bag. So you can tell that I love secondhand clothing. But I think that this is my <laughs> this is my answer to quote unquote quiet luxury where I'm kind of rejecting that whole notion right now at the moment. Going to do a video on that later, but I like secondhand fashion because you can find the best quality pieces without paying a huge price and it doesn't really matter what the label is. It just matters how you pair the items together. And I think this outfit is like my everyday walking around the streets of Paris going out for drinks outfit. Next up, I'm going full hog, as they say in Britain, with a rouge poids du Parisien polka dot dress. This is a beautiful color, burgundy, sort of wineish color, Ma not mauve, but it's red burgundy. And I have never once worn this dress out and about, but if I were planning a trip to Paris, you better believe I would wear this dress. I might get a few stares, a few glances, but where else are you gonna wear a beautiful dress like this? 
I hope to take myself out on a girl date or my husband taking us out on a date together would be so much fun. But you know what? You don't need an excuse to wear a beautiful dress like this. Just wear it on your day-to-day -day life. I'm pairing it with my favorite Parisian perfume, Tom Dow from Diptyque. This I got in Paris. My husband repurchased it for me and I'm going to show you how I like to apply my perfume. Just a few sprays and then you step into it because you don't want to be overpowering your whole vibe and you definitely don't want to overpower other people. If you get hot, you can take off your trench coat. This is my Everlane trench coat. It's the old drape trench. And then you can just like throw it in your bag or whatever. You can wear espadrilles, you can wear boots. I'm really on the fence. I think espadrilles are comfortable to a point, so don't be fooled by their cute style. This is the most classic look of all of them, I think. I think anything, jeans and a white top, black ballet flats, a straw bag, Ray-Bans, literally the most classic outfit you could wear this every day if you wanted to honestly you don't need to pack a lot when you're going to paris just keep it minimal make sure that your ballet flats are very comfortable because even cute ones that look like they would be comfortable when you're walking 20,000 plus steps a day which my husband and i did you know it gets a little funky so i like the classic look paired with the milo bag it just adds a little bit of elevated chicness to it in my opinion and i feel very comfortable ready to go my favorite jeans basic breathable top chic bag which you can't put a lot in it but it still looks really cute next up i've got my magic pants on i've had every client <laughs> recently buy these pants and no matter their body shape or size these trousers look fantastic on them so i got a pair too pairing it with my tree torn sneakers perfect for walking around in the city perfect for a rainy day slightly cooler temperatures paired with a lily silk uh, I think this is a cashmere v-neck cardigan, my Milo bag, and my Everlane trench coat, my Ray-Bans. I feel rich, rich girl in this, even though I'm not, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Definitely don't care what other people think of you. That's really not the point of fashion. You have to be comfortable in your own skin. So next up, I've got another rouge item. I got this secondhand on Poshmark a few years ago. The top is from, I think, a 2020 collection, 2021, not can't remember, but I love it. It's a cotton linen blend with beautiful embroidery, and I thought that the embroidery kind of called out the green of the skirt. Pairing it with my Cezanne Low Judith sandals and my thrifted basket bag. Feel very comfortable in this outfit. I don't know exactly how sandals would do like sort of culturally but i mean honestly just wear what you feel the most comfortable in if you are doing a lot of walking a flat leather sandal like this might start to hurt your back after a while but they would be comfortable on your feet make sure you take breaks when you're walking around paris just stop and smell the roses find a park bench there's so many lovely little corners for you to go and explore and places for you to just hang out i swapped out for my milo textile bag because i thought that would look really cute okay so i had more footage of this dress but it, i accidentally deleted it it's another rouge dress and i just i loved it i thought this is more my speed it's less like hey look at me it's very sexy and still very pretty but less bold than the other maroon one and next up i have a light pair of trousers from a secondhand consignment event, but they actually happen to be brand new with tags from Cider. I've never bought anything from Cider before, but I thought these looked fantastic, and I think they're a little bit short for me. I'm not quite sure about the shoe pairing, but I love it paired with a boucle jacket, and I feel super chic and super elegant in this outfit. It's quite put together, still breathable, but still really covered up. So just do you, be yourself, like wear what you wanna to wear to Paris, but keep in mind that it's fun, like you need to enjoy yourself. Enjoy being in the fashion capital of the world and have the best time ever. Please say hello to Paris for me. Bring me back something French. If you know what that's from, drop it in the comments section below. Um, that's a very deep cut. So anyways, yeah, dress how you wanna dress, but keep in mind that this you, you clicked on this video because you wanna know what to wear to Paris and I'm challenging 
challenging you as your virtual stylist to take a step out of your comfort zone. Think about different ways that you can shop your closet. Try to mirror what I've what I've created and look at these girls' Instagram account. Save some outfits that are inspiring to you. Check the weather. Do your research. Wear comfortable shoes and you're going to be just fine. Pack half of what you intend to wear because I promise you're not going to wear it all and just enjoy yourself. Go have the best time ever. I've talked about this topic a ton on my channel and it's something I've been talking about for years. I'm super passionate about it so if you love the discussion around what to pack for Paris or what to wear to Paris then I think you would really enjoy this video here and like I said if you really are planning a trip to Paris and you want to know what to pack then you've got to check this video out right here. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for helping support this channel. It means the world to me and I will see you guys again next week.